As you know, this Saturday marks 20 years since the Twin Towers fell. And for so many here in the city, the memories of the day will never leave them. One of those people is the FDNY Commissioner Dan Nigro, who was in Brooklyn on the morning of the attack. News Force Miles Miller spoke with him about the day he'll always remember. I see the sights that I saw 20 years ago, and they're not pretty and they're not pleasant. So most days it's, it's an uncomfortable visit for me to come to this site. The images of September 11th are etched into Fire Commissioner Dan Nigro's memory. On that day, he was the department's chief of operations, sitting in his seventh floor office in downtown Brooklyn when the building shook. Pete Gancy yelled, Dan, look out your window, a plane just hit the World Trade Center. And that's how the day began, and um, of course we immediately responded. Nigro and then Chief of Department Peter Gancy, best friends for over 30 years, drove together over the Brooklyn Bridge. The Trade Center was clearly visible to us on the way over. I said two things to Pete. I said, first of all, it's going to be the worst day of our lives. It was obvious. And second, we can't put out this fire. Both men arrive and take stock of the hellscape before them. We heard a horrendous noise. It turned out to be a, a body hitting the ground. And as we looked up, others followed. And with each one, you know, the gasps from people watching, that alone made it the worst day I've experienced in the fire department. Gancy raced over to the command post, set up between the towers, and ordered it moved inside a garage. Nigro inspected the perimeter minutes later. As we were getting organized with the North Tower, uh, we hear the roar of a second 767, and it hits the South Tower at an even higher speed at a lower floor, and um, our troubles doubled in seconds. Gancy and First Deputy Commissioner Bill Feehan made their way to the base of the South Tower just before the collapse. They dug themselves out of the rubble and headed to the North Tower. They died when that tower collapsed at 10.23 a.m. The way in which they died was incredibly heroic and not surprising. They died trying to rescue others after the first collapse and gave up their lives for the sake of others. They'll forever be remembered. Five days later, with the department's top ranks decimated because of the attacks, Nigro was promoted to chief of department. Outside my office, you know, there's pictures of each chief of department since 1865, and um, I'm the only one that ever won that office in that way. Um, it was a happy day, for I feel, for every other chief of department to be promoted. Not so much for me. It's a pain Nigro has lived with for two decades. He retired in 2002, but returned to lead the department in 2014, an over 40-year career of service. He's made it his mission to make sure all of his members afflicted by 9-11 illness got the medical benefits they needed from Congress with the passage and reauthorization of the 9-11 Victims' Compensation Act. You know, the fire department alone has lost 250 three members since 9-11 and we'll lose many more to the illnesses that were caused by our work here. Um, and for some who just didn't experience it as personally, I guess they couldn't get behind it. And we had to fight and we did. And we won. When people talk about the atrocities of 9-11, they often say, never forget. Never forget is a slogan, but to add on to that, those we lost makes it that much more significant. I'd love to forget the horror. What we should never forget are those we lost and the bravery they displayed that day uh, by entering those towers, uh, knowing fully that they may not exit. And that, that takes a lot of courage. At the World Trade Center, I'm Miles Miller, News 4 New York.